morning, everyone. This is Pastor Dan from Athens Christian Reformed Church with you again this morning, and uh, I have some devotions for you again from Seeking God's Face, Praying through the Bi- with the Bible Through the Year. <clears throat> Here is our invitation for this morning, the 30th day of Lent. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Just take a moment to breathe and to take that in. I'll read it again and just listen to what God has to say to you. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Our Bible song this morning comes from Psalm 25, verses 1 to 3 and 20 to 21. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me. Because my hope, Lord, is in you. My hope, Lord, is in you. As you come to our Bible reading this morning, just take a moment and breathe. And uh, just maybe if you're able, close your eyes and listen. And hear if any... um, any phrases or words pop out for you. And if they do, just maybe sort of chew on those for a while later on. Ask God what it is that he might be saying to you. Our Bible reading comes from Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 1 to 14. And this is from a time in Israel's history when there was great trouble They were in exile, and things were terrible in a lot of ways. This is what the Bible says to us. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says of these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I was prophesying there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together bone to bone. I looked. And tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to it, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Come, breath from the four winds, and breathe into these slain that they may live. So I prophesied, as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. 
They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore, prophesy to them and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from them, I will put my spirit in you, and you will live. When I hear these words, I think about the fear and hopelessness and worry that, that this particular time is, is causing in some people's lives, many people's lives. And I am reminded of God's promise to Israel that he will make them live, that he will give them hope. God has great hope for us, to give us. He will do good things. On this earth no matter how grim things may seem today let's pray Lord God by an entirely supernatural work not less than a new creation you brought me from death to life for this and for all your mercy I thank you in Jesus name Amen now receive God's blessing. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Take care. God bless. Be hopeful and filled with the joy of the Lord today.